what is up guys so we are finally here at tgpr finally doing a track day in the 18 again so glad track season is back upon us and guys this will probably be the last track day we do in the 2018 we're going to do a lot more drag racing of course but this will probably be the final track day for this car we're going to concentrate on drag racing with it and leave the track stuff to the 350r and of course once we get the gt500 we'll be tracking the heck out of that car as well so this will probably be the last track day we'll we'll get a chance to uh, have fun with the 2018 so i'm going to enjoy it and just have a good time out here today so we're going to go out and just do the first session, get it warmed up, see how it's doing. My front tires are a little bit, uh, the insides of them are pretty much worn off, so I might end up cording a tire and cutting my day early. But uh, I'm here with a bunch of friends. We got my buddy in his ZL11LE. I'm going to do some coaching with him. Um, I'm here with Nick from Trackstangs in his 03 Cobra race car. And then um, I'm here with... Uh, Brandon in his 2015 that you guys have seen on the channel we did the springs and suspension and I got my other buddy Logan with him so we'll probably be doing a whole bunch of ride-alongs and instructing and stuff like that today so looking forward to the day guys and uh, let's get out on track so they single line us like starting out just single line yeah
guys so we got another special treat for you guys today been doing some coaching and instructing in this 1L EZL1 and uh, he wants me to take it out for a couple laps and kind of show him the line and kind of see what this thing will do lap time wise so we're gonna go out and do one session with me driving and the owner in the passenger seat and finally get to drive the ZL1 1LE and see what it'll do I'm super excited and uh, we'll also be able to kind of compare times to what we've done in other cars here so it'll be pretty cool Alright guys, so I'm super impressed with this car, I'll just say that right off the rip. Uh, it's super duper neutral. I figured with the amount of weight that this thing was carrying on the nose with the supercharger and everything that it might want to understeer quite a bit, but it's definitely not the case. It's super neutral. Uh, we ended up doing a 108, uh, which is pretty, pretty respectable out here in the R. We did run a 105 last time we were here. But guys, uh, keep in mind, which I didn't even mention before, um, <clears throat> the owner drives this car on the street regularly, and he did swap out the R compounds that come on this car for some, uh, I believe these are RE11s, Bridgestones. So these are a street tire. 
uh, summer only street tire so it's 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 probably at least two seconds down the lap and then you also have to remember this isn't my car I'm not gonna go out and drive it quite as hard as I would drive my car um, just kind of wanted to show him what it could possibly do out here and then you know also at the same time help him out with line and stuff like that so uh, again I'm super duper impressed with this car I wouldn't mind having one myself but I'm also just this this thing definitely drives me to be even more excited now for the GT500 because I'm sure it's going to be a lot closer to this thing than it is the 350R. I would say that the 350R handles slightly better, um, but this car definitely makes up for it in, in power and braking capability is amazing. Uh, it's just an all-around great track car. So uh, hopefully, guys, we'll get a chance to uh, do some more ride-alongs and... Uh, Maybe we'll drive the uh, 03 Cobra track car. We're still helping out Nick from Track Stangs get this thing dialed in and uh, get his lap times down as well. And I'm helping out a couple other buddies today, my buddy Logan, and um, I might help out another friend of mine who has an 18 GT, uh, throw some lap down, laps down in his car, or just ride shotgun with him and uh, help him out, see if he can't uh, find a little bit more time in it. So definitely a little bit more to go before the day's over and then again we will be at barber motorsports park tomorrow by the time you guys see all this footage um it'll probably be sometime during the beginning of the week anyway so by the time you see this video we'll have already been to barber and the whole weekend will be over but um so yeah we're just gonna keep enjoying the day and uh it's lunchtime now so probably got about another 20 minutes or so before we get back out on track everybody gets back out on track and just here enjoying the day here at Talladega GP
thinking a little early for that turn. Are you aiming for the two marker? Yeah. Try and line up the rear bumper with the two marker. Start there. Okay. And brake the same way. Good, firm brake. So that's going to close out the day here at Talladega GP. Had an awesome time today. Like I said, this is probably the last time we're going to actually take the 18 GT out on road course. We're still going to do a whole bunch of drag racing stuff. But uh, overall, it was a good day. We did some coaching. Uh, everybody got a little bit faster, which is the goal. Um, I ended up running a 108 in the uh, 03 Cobra track car, which I think he's out on track right now. And then uh, I did run a 108 as well in the ZL1, and we did a 107 in the 18. And keep in mind, guys, that uh, the ZL1 number one wasn't on the R compounds that it comes on. The 18's running on R compounds. That makes a huge difference. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to jump down my throat and say that the, the ZL1 should have been a lot faster. But again, I'm driving somebody else's car, first time ever driving the car, and we're not on R compound tires, so... Again, it's somebody else's car. A 108 is a very respectable time out here. It's probably, I would say it's faster than anybody else is running out here. So just to give you a little idea, most of the faster guys are in the 110, 111 range. So 108 is a very respectable time. And I uh, just wanted to up you get, update you guys as well on this 2015. This was Brandon's car. This was the one we were working on getting ready for the track day today. Um, he did a lot of the work that we, you know, a lot of the stuff we had to do to the car, he ended up doing at work, so I didn't get to film it. But we got the brake duct coolers on, we got the PP2 replica wheels, and we're running, these are actually the R compounds that he took off of the ZL11 LE, and we put those on here. So we had a lot of grip out here in this thing, you can see 
sticky rubber. So we got this car pretty much dialed in. It's running really good. And uh, so far, what did we do to it? We did the PP2 wheels. We got it lowered on Steeda. I, th I believe it's the Steeda Progressive Springs. We got the JLT brake cooling ducts. And uh, we did put the X pipe on it, and the uh, it had it already had the Flowmaster axle back. So again, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, track day here at Talladega GP. Tomorrow, which you guys will be seeing uh, this video probably on Monday or so, so by then that video will already be out as well. But tomorrow we'll be at Barber Motorsports Park with the R1M over here, and uh, yeah, we're just going to continue having a blast doing track day stuff all weekend. And then don't forget, guys, we'll be in the at the end of April, we'll be at NCM Motorsports Park with the 350R. And Tunnel Chaser should be down there with his 350R. So we still got a whole bunch of fun stuff planned, including getting this 150 shot dialed in on this 18 and finally running a 10 second time slip, hope, hopefully. So uh, again, if you guys aren't, aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Please hit the bell notification. And thanks for watching, guys. Oh, we just deep, deep, deep.